Smart Delivery is live. And what this means, every single one of your campaigns is now powered with the backing of Smart Placement Testing. And that means you will have consistent and predictable information to know if you're landing in the primary folder or if you're landing in your leads spam folder. And not only that, you will have the capacity to go ahead and make changes and in real time see if those changes are actually having an impact on your placement as a result your reply rates, because that's what matters to all of us. Smart Delivery is way more advanced than what's out there in the market right now with respect to placement tests, because not only are you not sending from just another random place, you're sending it from the very spot that is actually going to be sending your email. So you've got the truest form of accuracy as to whether it's going to work or not. Along with that, you have insights that you have never had access to before from not just the DCAM, DMARC records, that are just the basic things. We cover over 400 blacklists. We also have access to hundreds of mailboxes across hundreds of ESP providers across the world. So whoever you're messaging anywhere in the world, we've got your back. Not only that, Smart Delivery's also got you covered with several of the world's most popular spam filter marketers, which then means that we will let you know if these markers are going to go ahead and pick up that your email is going to be landing in spam. So you can make the adjustive changes to consistently land in your leads primary folder. Not only that, there's tons of advanced features from AI copy that's going to go ahead and do placement tests for you and give you better suggestions. Not only that, you're also going to go ahead and get the capacity to understand exactly which mailbox is problematic, why, so you can make the changes, whether it's your IP, whether it's your ESP, whether it's your sending pattern, whatever it may be. But the best part is you no longer need to shoot in the blind. You can send your emails confidently knowing that you are going to hit your targets because now it all just comes down to getting solid copy and a solid offer and you get to leave all the technical pieces to Smart Leads so we can take care of that for you and give you the best information and infrastructure so you can make those decisions and changes so you can always land in your leads primary folder. The market is hot and it does not matter which ESP changes, which algorithm or what the future looks like because we've always got you backed with that. Whatever changes comes in, we will also adjust for that so you can always be one step ahead of the rest of the world in confidence. Now I'm going to pass it on to my team so they're going to go ahead and break down everything else and the power that this product has to offer. This is just the beginning. I'm so excited for you because I'm going to guaranteedly see some of you smash your targets because you're just going to get so many more deals come through as a result of this. Enjoy and all the best. Super excited to share with you our new feature, Smart Delivery. You will now have the opportunity to perform a placement test of your campaign before you run it. You can test a particular sequence of your campaign across a set of test accounts. The results of this test will give you insights of how your campaign would perform once it goes live. Let me show you how to create a manual test. When you create a new campaign, here I've added three sequences, one of plain text, a second with variables, and third is a follow-up email and I have selected a few sender accounts. When I try to start the campaign, I am prompted to run a spam test. On the click, we'll move to the Smart Delivery tab where I can create a manual test using Start Spam Test. We'll create uh, a name. Here we've provided a name similar to the name of the campaign and we can optionally move it to a particular folder. The sequence copy will be tested across a spam filter. Here we have Spam Assassin. We may have, going forward, the Google Spam Filter or Barracuda. The link checker checks every link inside your email body and checks if the URL has a domain that is blacklisted. Here you can adjust the sending throttle, which means you can adjust the gap between two consecutive emails. You can set a time of five minutes. You also have the option to send out bulk emails instantly, although this has the risk of damaging your mailboxes. So we'll select that. And on the next page, you can select the campaign that you'd like to test, in our case, this campaign. And we will try and get the second email that was with variants. As you can see, the variants have been replaced by information from your lead list. Here we can see the list of mailboxes that have been associated to our campaign. We can select as many as we like. 
Although you may have certain limitations based on your subscription plan. Save. Below you can see a set of test accounts, which belong to email providers from all across the globe. Here you can see if you'd like to test your copy across a certain region, you can choose the email service providers only from that specific region. In this scenario, I'll be testing all of them. Here we click save and run and boom, on the dashboard, you have your test report ready. On navigating to the dashboard, you can see the manual test has been populated in the list. Although this is currently running, you can still go inside and see the report details. For example, we can have a look at this report. This manual test report shows you the list of all the sender accounts that you chose for that campaign. It shows you the email copy you used for the test, along with the name of the campaign and the sequence that you chose. The report provides an overview of how your campaign performed based on the placements of inbox in spam. Here you can see the spam assassin score. Lower the score is the better and unlikely to be filtered. So here you can view the details of the IP analytics, your domain analytics. This report gives you enough insight on how your sequence of your campaign performed. Based on this, you can make changes to your campaign sequence and mailboxes and try testing it again. You can leverage this report to make changes in your email copy or mailboxes of your campaign so as to optimize deliverability when it goes live. If your campaign performs well in one of the spam tests, you can have the peace of mind and the confidence that your campaign will work well once it's live. The interesting part about the smart delivery feature is that it can be used without subscribing to the smart lead general plan. What this means is even if you don't have campaigns or mailboxes attached to your account, you can still test your copy using an external mailbox. Let's see how it works. You can create a manual test by clicking on start a spam test and creating a manual test. We'll give some general details. We've provided a name, a description. Your copy will be tested against the spam assassin filter. By the time you see this video, there might be more filters attached, which is Google spam filter or Barracuda. The link checker checks every link inside your email body and checks if the domain of those links or URLs are blacklisted. The sending throttle applies only to smart lead connected mailboxes, does not apply to external mailboxes. On the next page, we select the external mailbox test. Here, you will be presented with a spam test ID. Below, you see a set of test accounts which belong to email providers that we've selected across the globe. On the click of modify email providers, you will be able to see the list of mail providers across the globe. If you'd like to test your copy across a certain region, you can choose the relevant email providers. The next thing that you'd want to do is to select the entire seed list and compose an email by putting that in seed list into the recipient sections of your test email. Once you've added the seed list to your recipient section, we now select the test ID. We paste the test ID anywhere in the email body so we can track this test. Once you send it, you can go back to your test and see view reports. Here you see your test being created on the dashboard. For the purposes of this demo, you can view a sample report where you can see the sender account from which you sent your email. You can see the email copy that you used and you can see this placement performance of that email copy from your mailbox to our seed list. This report gives you enough insight on your copy and you can use the report to optimize your copy to use it on any campaign going forward. Previously, we discussed how to create a manual test. You also have the option to create an automated test. You can create a test to run at regular intervals. Between each test, you can either update your copy or make changes to your mailbox and over time, you can see how the changes that you've made to the copy and mailbox have affected the performance of the campaign. Let me show you an example. We here, we create an automated test. The setup is similar to a manual test. We give it a name, auto test for a demo. Your copy will be tested across the spam assassin filter. 
The link checker will check every link inside your email body and check if the domain of that URL is blacklisted or not. Here, you can select the sending throttle. You can choose to send all the emails at once from your mailbox, or you can send the emails from the mailbox at regular intervals. You can set up a time here, for example, every seven minutes. On the next page, you can select the campaign that you'd like to test. Let's test our campaign and a sequence A, which is plain text. We choose our eight mailboxes and go to next. This is where you can set up your frequency of how often you would like to run the test. Here I've set up the frequency starting today and run every two days. Something to note is the email throttle that you've set up. Here you will need to take into consideration the email throttle that you set up. You will need to ensure that the time taken to complete one test is shorter than the frequency that you set up to run the automated tests. Once you save the frequency and run the test. Here you have your automated test on your dashboard. On the dashboard, in the automatic test section, you can see your automated test has been created and is in progress. Since the frequency of the test is set every two days, we will not be able to see the report immediately. For the purpose of this demo, I will show you a report generated in the past for an automated test. Here you can see three tests run for an automated test. They've run every two days, and each test has a report of its own, where you can check which sender accounts were used and what email copy was used. By the time the next test ran, we can update the email copy and we can view how the changes have been affected in the next report. Through the graph, you can see over time how your changes are impacting the campaign performance. Based on this graph, you will have enough insight to help you make a decision as to when is the good time and what is the right copy and the mailboxes to start your campaign. You can use all the insights of these reports to optimize your campaign, your copy and mailboxes. Do note that at any point, if you would like to stop your automated test, you have the option to do so by, uh, in, through the action items stop test. Also do note that for an automated test, each and every test that runs inside an automated test will use one sequence placement credits.